guys, welcome back to TSB Talks. I'm Alan Kamara and I'm here with... Ace Motif. Yeah, come on, your boy A. Sad news, Love Island, Love Island Mike Thessalicis was found dead in his home. Well, not in his home, it was in the forest near his home. It was found that he killed himself. What do you guys think about that? I think has it's, he, it's it actually said that he's actually committed suicide. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. come out. Um, Montana, Montana from past Love, Love Island shows. She went on this morning, I think, and she spoke about how one of his friends confirmed that he did, in fact, kill himself. Yeah, I mean, yeah. oh, like, it's I just saw it's one really or two unfortunate. Bits on it, and yeah. I think he was in a bit of debt, and he lost his best friend or his brother or, or it was his nan he lost his he's nan. lost his nan but mm. he lost someone else before yeah before that, that well. i think yeah um so he lost two people he was in a load of debt and i i don't know to to take to take yourself and obviously it was near his home to take yourself to the woods near and your home. create some sort of device that's gonna hang yourself that's a madness yeah I just, it is, I, we'll never know what the exact reason as to why he's done that it's just really unfortunate that he couldn't have spoken to anybody or somebody could have helped him, you know, go a different route instead of, you know, there's always other ways of coming out of depression instead of, you know, yeah, killing but does he, did he? But then, did he speak to anyone and, you know, then he, he's a Love Island star, so there's, an, there's a new expectation of him. And then you also mm. have to think about, he's a Love Island star, was he in just the recent one with Jack? No, no, it was the one oh, before no, that. No, okay, no, no, no. but then you have to think Kevin. about as well, you've got people like, Oliver Jack, who have come out of Love Island and are making it big for themselves right yeah. now. Do you know what I mean? And then ultimately, in the grand scheme of how the world works, people are going to compare them straight away. Do you know what I mean? Not just them directly, but then he's going to be looking at that. So there are a lot, lot of things, and then those things are going to hold him back from actually going and speaking to someone yeah. because he's ashamed or embarrassed or so feels some yeah. type of way. Because mm-hmm. even his friend, the, the Montana girl that was on Love Island with him, she basically said that he did, he was going through a rough patch. I think it was last year, December. He was saying to her that he's finding it really hard coping with the whole fame and everything that's going on with Love Island and stuff. Mm. So she felt like he was doing better. So it's like, what could have, what was it that's happened? Like, so it's like, why mm. now? Because everyone mm. thought he was doing better. Yeah, it's yeah, just really it's unfortunate. Crazy. I mean, like, oh man, it, obviously it all relates back to mental health, and it's a big situation right now. Yeah. Men's mental health is like a big topic it because is. men are, have to be perceived as being the strong yeah. people. Like, that they they got to be the strength, the the pillar. But real talk, like, honestly, like, committing suicide is is for me is the coward's way out, and I. Uh, rest in peace like, of course Mike. condolences but to his family i'm sorry like there are other ways of 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 do of dealing with it yeah like, mm. just talk i feel like talking to your close ones even talking to people that you know you wouldn't talk to on a regular like a therapist or something somebody sometimes talking to people outside of a close unit can help mm. so but yeah, who, though, do you know what this I mean? my thing I, is you sometimes talking nobody would know what was going on through his head sometimes yeah. talking can't even make a change you know what i mean so yeah. i just condolences to his family and friends i don't i can't imagine what you guys are going through let's read some of the comments always ask your friends how they're doing now and then r.i.p mike um yeah. cali connect we really got to start talk, taking care of our mental health and opening up to people about our problems young life shouldn't get cut so short to suicide but what has influenced this on a on a bigger scale i i think that not just you know singularly but as a big driving force social media has had a lot to play in this and has yeah. a massive part to play in this yeah. and i also think that social media should actually social media platforms not just social media social media platforms should actually invest some money into the mental health service because we are experiencing a high number of mental health cases yeah. across our young mm. he's, t- he's the same age as me yeah Do you know what i mean he's the same age as me and i only think that i'm just growing into a great life mm. and he has probably had way more opportunities than me and ahead I. of him yeah and still yeah he's not even able so something to do, just, do you know it's I mean? unexplainable it's, i think I'm sometimes s- oh. <sighs> to be honest you're just saying you're you if you're you're a coward if you take that way out and you don't go and seek help or seek advice. If you think your life is done at that point and you don't think there's any other options to yeah. go and check for anyone else or get yourself out of that, 
then that's that's just like no, so just, what if we have seek help like yeah, you know what maybe. i mean what is it that goes through your head uh, or what is it that you're dealing with that's so hard to the point where you do not want to be on this earth anymore. I know a girl all. that um, tried it's to like, commit suicide. It's, it's I'm, I'm sure, I'm, of course, like suicide. I mean, I've been there. Do you know what I mean? It's not, it's not easy to just say and you know go and talk to somebody. Like sometimes you have to like it mm. takes time. Do you know what I mean? Like mm. it's not, it's not, it's not easy. But I just think there's always other routes. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. it's just really sad. But what do you guys think about the Love Island contestants that are saying that they should? Love Island need to make certain steps to help yeah, mental health. Yeah, they should. Health they definitely yeah, should. Yeah. They should have coaching yeah. in place and, and people that they can go and speak to, therapists, and even if they're just mentors on a very, you know, on an on an, you know, some people might take it offensive or take it some type of way if you're like, oh, we're going to give you a counselor or this person. Just a mentor, someone to see how you're actually doing, someone to catch yeah. up on you, someone who's going to actually be able to pick up on those little yeah. keys that say, actually, mm. I don't think you're quite all right, mm. maybe. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. That's very important because you've taken someone from a very regular, normal life and, and you've you're, thrown you're them into... Away. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And it's not a gradual thing. It's boom, everything yeah, is exactly. on you now. Yeah, and then yeah, yeah. boom, Monster. it's all gone. Yeah. And then you have to sort of deal with the aftermath. Yeah, it's yeah. a lot to deal with. I mean, it's, it must be a lot to take in, especially you regular, you're going and what, I don't know, 100 something followers. You're coming out to like millions and millions of people telling you, you know, telling you that they know about you, they know yeah, your life. Imagine yeah. all them types of people Walking acting the like street, they know you. You're, you're on the street. It in must be a lot to deal with. Like footballers, for example, it's not like, the same but footballers where they they gradually grow and grow and grow and as their career gets better and better Mm -hmm. they're getting more more and more fame do you know how much training that they receive and they get like life coaching yeah like training talking to the media so they don't like you know make yourself look bad like they get so much training and so much counseling yeah just to protect them and protect their careers yeah love island and these shows that propel people like you said from like a hundred followers to millions, you can't be ready for that. You and can't. Then but the my other thing side, is, if you're not successful and you're like, hang on, five minutes ago, everyone wanted to know me. Yeah, now yeah. no one wants to know me. That's exactly. actually crazy. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. my thing is, I feel like certain you kind of have to be a bit mentally stable if you want to put yourself onto that yeah, type of exactly. show as well. Like exactly. you can't, if you're not mentally ready to take on that type of fame, you shouldn't sign up for a reality show. You shouldn't <sighs> sign, do, do you know what I mean? I hear what you're saying, but I don't, I, if you're just a fun, loving person, you're you're never gonna know if yeah, you can exactly. deal with that pressure or not. You just like saw this show, you thought that looks like fun, looks like banter. I'm gonna jump on this show. You get propelled, and then you're like, raw. I can't deal with the pressure. Yeah. Controversial feminism, slum flower, mm. who is basically saying that men should pay for her time, and that they need to be serving her kids with one million star Michelin service and doing all sorts of fancy, fancy, fancy things. Um, well, break down what happened, what, what's happening? So, so <laughs> she basically just sent a tweet. She tweeted basically that men need to basically pay for time. Do you know yeah, more yeah, about that? Yeah, I saw it. I, I, I think she said something like, um, she's no longer about? the slum flower. She's, like a, she's kind of like an influencer a little okay. bit. She's a proper feminist. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And I think she said something like, she's, she's no longer going to pay men's time for free or something yeah. like that. Like, mm-hmm. Basically, she's basically saying that she's going to be an escort. That's what I think. That's what I can hear. <laughs> that's what you're Do you know yeah, what I mean? That's yeah, that's what that is. It's, it's, it's a very interesting approach for her to take because in one sense, she's trying to be so far-fetched that she's saying that people should actually pay for her time. But then you're actually, at the same time, almost not necessarily degrading, but you're putting your value down. Like, if I can just pay for your time with monetary things, like... Do you yeah. know what I mean? What and well, what do you have who, to who offer as well? Why, why do I need to pay you all this money to spend time with me? Like, who, who are you? For I mean, real? Do you know exactly. what I mean? It's like, what she, do you have to she offer? Like, yeah. She prestigious. It does, it does, she's who's an prestige? influencer. She's an influencer. She's got followers and stuff, but I don't think you're right. You but feel I don't like think you're entitled to be paid for I don't your think company. that she... she um, I don't think that she has a problem... No, I don't think that she thinks that she's too prestige. I think that... It doesn't even matter who the person is. I think that she's just saying, period. She's not even going to spend time with men. She's actually being so outrageous mm. to say that she's not even going to go. And, and you know, I can get it. Sometimes some people are time wasters. Sometimes yeah. people don't have this, people don't have that. And she's talking about if they're broke, why are you going to allow them to mess yourselves up? Mm. And you need to take care of yourself and basically say that women shouldn't be responsible for men. No one said what? women should or shouldn't, 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 okay. shouldn't be responsible for men. And she even went on to say about women, if men 
commit suicide because they can't cry, then basically that's she their said problem. It's her concern. Yeah, yeah. I saw that. Is what is it her concern? Wow. Women shouldn't have to be the ones to fix men's lives or fix men's problems. That is obviously we can clearly see that she's just attention seeking. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, what, well, she what, must what be very values, hurt. <laughs> what values do you have as a as a as a woman to come from that angle? Like she seems like she's equal, very entitled. Like how long have women been battling to be equal? Like yeah, but, we've been all but my thing is, and we, we empower each other. Yeah, a relationship what? should be like a bit of you, a bit of me, both of us coming together, power couple. What she's coming with is none of that. No, yeah. she's coming with some nick. Some yeah, a hateful tip. Definitely you know what attention I mean? It's seeking. actually destruction. Because the thing which she said about men and suicide, it's like suicide is a thing. It's not particular for men yeah, or women. Exactly, it's a thing. Exactly. So the fact that you're saying. Oh, if a ma- man kills himself, it's not my concern. It's well, like, yeah, she say something to do with a man crying. Or yeah, she yeah. said. Who said yeah. men if, can't if, cry? If she's basically saying no. if men commit suicide because they can't cry because obviously what we are experiencing. So, so she said men can't. Yeah, but, yeah, but she's not saying that. Men, no, but she's saying men can't. She can't. She's not meaning it literally. To some extent, what she's saying is that men can't talk about their problems or open up or actually be vulnerable. I guess is yeah. the, what, wow. the, the word that she could have used, but. When you have women, particularly like yourself, what man is gonna to want to be vulnerable to you? Like you're a piranha, like for real. Do you know what I mean? You're just actually eating them up on the yeah. live and for yeah. all the other, because men are gonna see that now. If there's gonna be some actual girls that are gonna be like, yeah, oh yeah, that's so true, and people can actually sort of go down that wavelength and be like, oh yeah, you know what, man up. Yeah, or even those little things like that. Yeah, yeah. they actually make men feel like yeah. I need to be a certain type so of way. I need to, and even it's with so this true. mic guy here, that's what I'm saying. How do you know you didn't go for help? What are people telling him? On, a lot of people don't even want to believe that mental health is a real thing. Do you know what I mean? Especially yeah. from the families that we come from as black and mm. Caribbean and African households. Mental health, what is that? It's a white yeah. person's thing. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So we need to, that's actually hateful and it's destructive. And for all of what is going on out here at the moment, and especially funnily enough with Mike, not funnily enough, literally, but yeah, what is going on with Mike, it's not a nice thing to say no. and it is actually just harming, it is harming. more or more people. Yeah, she, it's she's harming like more like men. rewinding all the way back yeah, exactly. to that old school time. She, yeah. if, if that's what you want, and look, who are we to say what, what everyone wants? If you want an old school, traditional, you stay in the kitchen mentality, you cook and clean and I'll go out, I'll work, then no. if that's your value, but she ain't even asking. For she hasn't even money. said that. She hasn't even she, said so that. So she's taking because this is a whole. This is what I'm we're saying. We're in 2019. But, but she can't be it's saying It's not even when 2019. You're saying things like that. But what do you have to offer? What is, what what is you your have value? To offer? She's not even offering to cook, clean, Nothing. and take. Co- you definitely. Well, well, I should pay you. You should. You, I should pay you for my time. For your what time. do you mean? That's escort and service. What are you bringing me for yeah, me to yeah, want to pay yeah. you? And first of all. Paying should you shouldn't need to pay somebody to spend time with them. That's escorting. Yeah. That's what like, I'm saying. <laughs> but then it's like, where is your input into this thing? Because if I ask to take you out, there's definitely going to be a reason, and that means that you're just a gold digger. You just want to be here for all of the things that you yeah. can get out of it. You're actually not even interested. So that means technically you just go date on a date with anybody that is offering the brown envelope that yeah, you want yeah. with yeah. the thousand pounds in it. Fans comments. Connor Yip said. Let this be a lesson. If you claim any political orientation, do the actual reading on it, because too many people are fake woke. <laughs> I'm dead. Leia, I think this is. I wonder how she feels about this if she ever has a son. Interesting. People forget that. You know, people make some like real harsh and controversial comments. They forget that they're gonna have children in yeah, time. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. You know I mean? It's people like that that talk that don't have kids. Those yeah. are people that talk like that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? She'll probably mm. tell you that she's not having kids because she doesn't want a man to put his penis yeah. in her because it's really a sin and it's disgusting and it's this and it's feminism and, and he needs to maybe pay yeah. to do that. The saggy tits. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. Thing, yeah, I saw which that. Which is fair enough. Like you probably you probably earn a lot of points at that point because you was embracing yourself and that's the right path to be on. But with this He's, path that yeah, you've gone off, you went. It man. sounds hateful. You've gone left. It sounds yeah. hateful. And 84 shades of R, her logic is very flawed, agreed. However, if that's what her standards are, then I wish her well, or I wish her all the best in finding what she feels she deserves. Yeah, you're just going to probably end up with some ODB who's rich and offering you money and nothing else. 
But if yeah. that's what you want, yeah. then seek do, and you shall means, find. Do you, my exactly. sister. <laughs> Listen, that's not, that's not what I want. <laughs> if you want that, go and do that, innit? I'm not with it. I don't know anybody that's going to do that. I don't know any man that is going to do that. I don't, don't get it twisted. See. You have some uncles that are willing to do that. Yeah, uncles. Oh, yeah. yeah. But is, is that what she wants? Yeah, yeah. but, but the, you the have... The uncle has one. family and kids. She's not looking for money. Yeah, and wife and, and I mean, baby mums and everything. Mm. And you'll be the one to, you know... You She's know, definitely listen. looking for love. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, and, and another thing I'll just say as, as like a closing statement to that as well. Don't be patronising all the men that find it hard to speak out. There yeah. is not only are men finding it difficult to speak out. The reason why they're finding it difficult to speak out is because there is a stigma attached mm-hmm. to men speaking out. Yeah. And we're and trying to break that. We're exactly. trying to change that. And a lot of them have families, do you know what I mean? That exactly. they have to keep in check. Listen, if you're mm. going through something, talk about it. Man or woman, just Real talk so, about yeah, it. Exactly. Listen, there's no shame in it, Real okay? You, but you have you girls look, like this. You're worse that. taking your own life than you are, like, just accepting your situation and talking And talking about someone. and dealing Seriously. with it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, so uh, we've got another topic. Um, so Lowski uh, came out with something. He um, he posted, girls are more trash than <laughs> boys. So I don't know, oh, this is all, right, all of gosh. our topics seem to be rolling into one. Yeah, 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 I know, I know, I know. What's yeah. um, um, But yeah, he's only saying men are girls are, girls more, are trash. more trash than, than I guys. saw that as well but, but, what, what, why I want to know what possessed well, him to I, to well you know what yeah I watched a video from a psychologist a female psychologist that has been in the business for about 35 years and she confessed that in her 35 years of profession she has encountered more women who have come to her and discussed with her that they have cheated on their husbands or long-term boyfriends way more than any man has ever come. Like and what, statistically? Statistically, but by, by far, she said it is, no. the difference is horrendous. So women cheat, is that what you're saying? More. Women cheat more, according to her, in trash. her career. That is rubbish. Wait, wait, you think it's real? I, you think that's I don't. Good? I don't know because I know a lot of girls that are trash as well, innit? So I'm not gonna yeah. try and yeah, like. So do yeah, I. yeah, but you can't just point out that men, girls are trash and men aren't. Like, what is that? No, we didn't say that. He said they're more trash, which means men are trash, yeah, but yeah. girls are more trash. Yeah, basically, get like. Girls, and oh, he, and he said that girls lie less or men lie more than girls. Just is that girls what are more trash than guys like. Yeah, do you know what? Do you, do you know what? I can I can agree with that. Yeah, because. Girls can be really, really deceptive and manipulative and they will take things to a whole new level. Do you know what I mean? So my girl, what, did you see the video Wait, the other day? No, 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 no. <laughs> did you see the video the other day with the girl and she was in the bed with the guy and the guy was recording and he slaps her ass and then all of a sudden her man is banging off the door. He comes in and he's oh, like, yeah, and, yeah. Like, and she's like, get in the closet. Like, and she's like, get in the closet. She, she was like, I'm wearing this shit for you. He's like, no. For yeah, your yeah, ass. He, he, he was like, you ain't even dressed up for me in years, man. Stop lying. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but she was guy. going ham on him, proper trying to make him feel bad, like going in, 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 in. Okay, yeah, okay. And the guy was in the closet. Yeah, yeah. You know okay, what? in you that case, what? you know what? Yeah, girl. We, I, okay, I feel like with men, they're more open about the cheating, isn't it? Like girls, they're no, more. No, they're not open. I girls feel like um, they are. go in no. their phone and girls log in and hack their girls social medias no, and stuff. I feel That's like how we, they find out. That's no, how they get found out. You know what? I don't know, innit? Because everyone's different. You can't just say that some men, because. Some girls, they'll be more truthful about it. Some girls will be more secret about it. Just like men, some men will be more secret about cheating and some girls won't. Some men won't. So I don't know, like... Girls will be out here having a whole affair with, 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 with her brother-in-law. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. trust where, where me. Where girls will be, be out here having like a whole affair with their brother-in-law. Men and women, like, if you're not in the right situation, we're all trash. Like... If we're not in the right situation, and people, are trash. Be, Some, <laughs> yeah, people, people are, are trash. People are trash. People are trash. Let's be honest. Some yeah. people can't if help you're it, in man. A happy situation, <laughs> then then it should be then good. On you, but, but let it be known: if you're a man or a woman, you have to you have to put in effort to maintain your relationship. These yeah. days, relationships are not maintained just like that. No. Do you agree with his comment that girls are trash? More trash than boys. More trash. 
Oh, I think sometimes it depends. I don't so know. So yes, the answer is yes. Know, I want to know what possessed it's him to yes. tweet this. I want to know what he went through for him to want to tweet this because yeah, somebody's yeah. hurt. He probably didn't even go through anything. He probably just actually was just no, woke. Somebody, morning, something you know what I mean? must have happened. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know because so, nah, so in some sense, some girls can be more trash. But then mm. I don't know because I know a lot of men that are trash. Yeah, but the things. Do you know what? Do you know what? Actually, it's funny because. We just sort of taking it out of context, like it's a real thing. Girls can be perceived to be more trash by doing the same things that men do. Do you mm. know what I mean? But it's only because of how we perceive women anyway in exactly. certain situations. Yeah. Why they be? And it's the his the historical kind of uh, a, like agenda linked to each other. Mm. So by by like historically men are always been the cheaters yeah, yeah. so it's like so, when a girl yeah. does it now so when a girl it's, does it, it's called a whole nother thing with yeah. men it's like oh you know men are dogs oh, you know that's how they are but, but when a girl does it they're a home that's their reputation like, like it's just i just think that you know times have changed isn't it yeah, like they have girl, but girls, that hasn't not saying no, 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 no. I that sounds bad, isn't it? I know, I'm not gonna lie, because I agree with that. I, I personally don't think a girl should do what a man does, innit? Because men are men, you get me? Girls Listen, you've girl. not been fighting like, for so many years to be able to do what men do. Listen, do not, what me. Men do. not me. You gotta do what no, men do. No, I can see me. you. You no, say you can do it well as well. Let's try it. Let's try it. I don't believe in that. I don't, listen, me, I don't want to get in trouble. I don't believe in that. I don't believe that girls should be doing the exact same thing. The reason that we're both two different genders is for a reason. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Like, we can't just be, but we're all the same all of a sudden. Like, no, we're two different genders. Men are men, women are women. That's how I, that's what I believe. So don't come with all that feminist stuff because <laughs> that's not me. Well, you know. <laughs> well, let's see what some of our residents think. We've got uh, Cheyenne Jacob. If men are dogs, then that means women are cats. We well, all know cats are sneaky and move in silence. Oh, hey. Whereas dogs are seen and heard. Yeah, very interesting. So mm. she's I like that. That, that analogy was that sick. Was, and see, this is what I mean, though. You know? But then again, I do kind of feel like it's it's a bit of double standards when you know a girl wants to move around like the way a man does. I feel like it is a bit. Yeah, but then you see. But the then reason? it's just we're women. Do you know what I mean? Like we can't be doing what men are doing. Like men are dogs. Yeah, but women are cats. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Times it's because, yeah, times have changed. Yeah, times have changed, but... The, times have changed. Times have changed. But the role of a woman has changed where the role of a man hasn't. And that's mm. why women now have this whole like, thing behind them where it's like, oh, you can do what you want now, but still, if you do what you want, we're actually going to still be labelling you the same way because you shouldn't be doing that because yeah. in our minds. But men have always just always. been like, you know, bread makers, the head of the household, exactly. and they still but, are now. But these times, like the average salary, women women's salaries versus a man's salary is more or less on par. Like yeah, that's women good. Women in power. That's good. And men in power, like it's all, it's all starting to balance out. So yeah. is it a surprise that this whole cheating and this whole... Yeah, you know, sneaky stuff. You know, yeah, I don't think as long as women are not being paid less than men, I think that's just bang out of order. <laughs> Wait, what? Um, if women are paid less than men, that is that that yeah. could never. I yeah. could I can't fathom that. Yeah. Nah, that is wickedness. That's just out of order. But in terms of this whole dog and mm. cat stuff, well, <laughs> and we've got uh, one last comment from uh, Easy Nalu. Um, he's calling men and women boys and girls. He's defo too young and. Only now having his ethany. What? What does it say? Epiphany. epiphany. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I don't no. know. You, he, um, I think he should be careful tweeting stuff like that because it can stir up a really huge argument. Yeah, but he many. wants to. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, he's he blatantly done it. On and purpose. obviously, right now he's got a buzz around him. He's got a new song out as well. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. he wants yeah, to be a controversial. I think. Ma- hey. I think what he meant was in terms of maybe what when a girl does something. It's time. It's worse. It's, it's so much worse than when a yeah, man does it because you know, like men, they're just typical of doing these type of things. Like we all know, like men are trash. You get me? But when a girl does it, it's probably worse. That's probably what he meant. What makes think. it worse is the way that you girls want to be acting. So that thing about cats, you know, and being sneaky is that you know, like, no nah, man, I wouldn't. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, and then when you, you, you do do it, yeah, it's a, bad. A girl might not DM you, but she will definitely snap you. Like, do you know what I mean? Mm. So you want to <laughs> you be acting like Instagram, but then when I see you, you're behaving like Snapchat. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. 
<laughs> thank you guys so much for coming and watching today. We'll be back next week with some more topics. And make sure you subscribe to TSB Talks and The Shade Borough on Instagram and The Shade Borough on YouTube as well because we've got some more topics coming next week. So peace out.